The blower motor housing and actuators are located under the cowl cover piece at the base of the windshield, red arrow. Begin by pulling up and removing the rubber seal that runs along the divider between the engine bay and the HVAC system, again indicated by the red arrow. You will need to remove the plastic cover, red arrow. There is a good chance that this will not come off in one piece. These get very old and brittle over the years. If you have not removed it lately, there is a good chance you will damage it and need to replace it after removing it. With the cover off, you can see the blower motor housing, red arrow, with the actuator on each end, yellow arrows. The vacuum line that controls the actuators runs along the front of the housing. There is a T nipple on the vacuum lines that joins and controls the actuator on the front right side, green arrow. On the left actuator, there is an electrical connection mounted to the actuator, red arrow, that does not have anything to do with the actuator, but must be transferred to the new one when installed. The yellow arrow indicates the vacuum line that goes to the T-joint. The air temperature sensor is mounted to the right side actuator and must be transferred to the new actuator when installed, red arrow. Begin by checking the vacuum lines, red arrow. If they are dried out, ripped, torn, or cracked in any way, you may have found your problem. Replacing the lines is cheaper and easier than replacing the actuators, so check them first. Replacing the actuators is the same for both sides, with the exception of the electrical connection mounted to the left side and the air temperature sensor mounted to the right. Remove the electrical connection by gently prying it out from the mount, red arrow. If the vacuum lines are fine and not going to be replaced, separate the line from the actuator, yellow arrow, and remove the two Phillips head screws from the mount, red arrow. Gently pull the actuator forward and remove the two small Phillips head screws that hold the vacuum rod to the flaps. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.